So there was an Asian man is actually going to be calling out his community about their anti-black racism, but also he's going to let them know about what black folks actually did for them. Let's go ahead and roll that. Hey, it's your neighborhood public defender here. Uh, this one goes out to the Asians. Um, so a while back ago, a, a particular public defender's office got in trouble because it was known that during jury selection, they were um, kicking out a lot of Asians because even amongst the Asian public defenders and attorneys, it was just assumed that those Asians are typically racist against blacks. And there's truth to this, okay? Now, my message today is to the Asians who are find themselves in the political right today, you know, whether it's on affirmative actions or, or other issues, or they like to, you know, talk about, you know, hey, how come, you know, the poor Asians get good grades. Why can't these other groups get their stuff together? And they're so arrogant and condescending. And behind closed doors, I know for a fact that they are pretty racist. And I want to ask you, man, you think your rights come from the Constitution? Huh? You ever look at the history of this country and see how we're treated? You ever look up the Asian, the Chinese Exclusion Act? Hmm? You ever look at why they wouldn't uh, allow those, you know, early Chinamen who come here to build railroads? They can't bring the women because they didn't want us to breed and reproduce. But how come you ain't gonna ride on the back of the bus today? Why do you get to vote? Why do you have rights that white people have? It's not because of Lao Tzu or Confucius. That's a lot of black people. A lot of getting hit with the baton and getting chewed up by dogs a lot of blood, sweat, and quite frankly, death and lynching. See, Black History Month, it's also a history about how we get our rights. So next time you wanna get on your high horse, okay, and look down on other people, think about it, man. They had to do that for us, okay? And we often don't realize it or don't appreciate it. Yes, this man is 100% correct about the history, about how they treated Chinese people when they came over here, the Chinese Exclusion Act. People like Frederick Douglass was out there speaking up against uh, the white supremacists about how they was treating Chinese people and, and, and the, the riots and everything that they was doing against uh, Chinese. Like, you know, one uh, show I saw, I forgot the name of this show. Uh, it was about this man, it was back in the 1800s actually. Um, God, it, it, my, my mind went blank on this particular show, but the guy does uh, martial arts and it was taking place in that time period. And it was just interesting how, you know, it showed how the, the racism was against uh, Chinese people at that time. But we as black people didn't do nothing to Chinese people or any other Asian group. We didn't do anything to them. But like I said in the previous video, it's like these groups, when they get uh, uh, either the gift of whiteness or they are allowed to be white adjacent, it's like they make a deal to say, okay, if you are white adjacent, which Asian people are, they're white adjacent, then you have to be anti-black racist. You have to be. Um, if you're not gonna stay anti-black racist and you're gonna join black folks, we're gonna take away your white adjacent status, and then we're gonna treat, them, treat you just like the black folk. And I know a lot of everybody look at us and say, I do not wanna be treated like that. So yeah, I'll be an anti-black racist, no matter what the history is, no matter what black folks done uh, that we benefiting from, but that's okay. Cause the more and more that you assist the white supremacists and taking away different things, we really gonna see what you made of. And we, and you really gonna see what white supremacy really is because all the things that we fought for have shielded a lot of you from white supremacy and what the brutal, ugly entity that it is. But you will see in those schools, that's just going to be a start. Like I said, like I said on the, my podcast, it, now they're going after your minority grants. They're going after your minority scholarships now. They're going after that. And there's certain scholarships that you get in the Asian community because you get them a lot more than we do because they're they allowing you into the schools more than we are getting in, right? So let's see how it works. Let's just see how it works. Um, when well you say you can do it through merit, right? But let me know what y'all think about what this man is saying, but this man is 100% spot on.